Okay, I'm uh, Wendell Hobley, Andrea's oldest brother, and Jennifer's uncle. I'm Wendy Hobley, Wendell's wife, Jennifer's um, aunt, Andrea's uh, sister-in-law. I remember when it started out of her little two-bedroom house where she grew her little fruit trees in the backyard. Um, even though we wasn't always around, um, we saw what was going on through social media and then from uh, from family members and actually from Jennifer and Andrea keeping us abreast of, of the, the way things were going. And I remember the, the first tasting at, at their house, but to me, it, it all seemed so surreal because from a tasting and then seemed like overnight, it became what it is today. And, you know, we were lived in, um, Colleen, Texas, and I worked at the uh, Waco VA regional office, and people there were talking about the winery here, and I said, that's my niece winery, you know? So it, it like I say, it just seems so surreal because it seemed like overnight, but um, people are just being drawn here by the wine. We can sit here and just talk about Steve all day long. You know, he, he was, that kind of guy that you could always depend on. You know, the, the strong foundation that Jennifer had growing up, um, the type of father that she needed to see and not just hear. And you know, a lot of times people say, you know, we wanna see it and not just hear you talk it, because you can talk a good game, but to actually step up and show what you all about and, and give that guidance in the right direction. Even when those hard times hit, you know, you always can have somebody to lean on or that advice that was given to you to draw from even though he's not here. So he was a a brother, not a brother-in-law. You know, because I can remember some, some summers when we took trips together, the families and we just had so much fun. And he, he was a wise cracking guy. He, mm -hmm. he had to be the one to keep everybody laughing. You know, I don't care what kind of situation you found yourself in. He found a way to cheer everybody up and keep us laughing so that even in a down situation, you could find the good out of it, so. And Steve, he was, he was a very knowledgeable man. I mean, about, almost about everything, if you, if you had a question about something, he either go, he gonna come back with an answer. If he don't know it right then, he gonna research it. And I would always say, how does he know that? But he was very knowledgeable. And like Wendell was saying, he was, he was a joy, very joyous, you know, and always had you laughing, always smiling. One word comes to my mind and I've heard it a lot, proud because being able to, he was the type of person that he was a giver. Yes. He was a supporter. And just like Wendy was saying, if he didn't know how to do something, he'd figure it out. And once he got it figured out, he'd come in and then he'd take care of it for you or help you to take care of it. Um, so the fact of having a, a scholarship named after him, I, I it just it blows my mind that it's gotten to this point. And the idea that Jennifer would come up with that to honor her dad, you know, first you honor the grandmothers by naming the winery after them. And now you, you put this scholarship on the table, you know, naming it after your father. It just, it's amazing that when you give back, how people respond. And I think he really, that's the only word I think proud is the only word I can think of. And he was a giving person. And his family is a giving family, you know. When it starts at the head and trickles down, you know, that's just amazing. So he would be very proud.